what's up everybody today we are checking out the trials of the nine reprise sniper rifle the long walk now let me start off by saying the long walk was an amazing sniper that came from trials of the nine early d2 and i believe it was one of the few snipers that were currently in the game and that were worthwhile for pvp i went into this gameplay kind of skeptical because it's very hard to get that feeling that you had of how great the gun was because there were no real other options and now we're so deep into d2 that we have a ton of options so i kept my optimism for this sniper kind of low because i was like ah oh, is it gonna stack up we have so many good options with the hot swap change and like that is it really gonna be that good but let's well, I guess we had to find out right so i'm gonna start off by saying i did not actually ever get this sniper the drop for me took me I did about 15 prophecies, have not gotten a single sniper, got a lot of arms though, because prophecy does not like me, RN Jesus does not like me, and I cannot get a weapon from Trials of the Nine that I really want to even drop. So thankfully to Nope, I was able to use her account and her weapon to check out this sniper rifle and review it. And yes, this is within the TOS of Bungie. So no, it is not a bannable offense. Just wanted to put that out there as kind of a disclaimer. Did not get this. Someone allowed me to review this weapon from their account. And I greatly appreciate it because this is one of the snipers I really, really wanted to check out and review for y'all, but I sadly cannot get it myself. So let's go ahead and talk about the sniper. The sniper handling is not bad. It's a little over 50. Feels nice. The swapping ability with it is really, really nice. Now the roll I'm rocking with is slide shot quick draw with a handling masterwork. This is perfect. Perfect if you're like me and you like to body shot, hot swap, hand cannon. It is really, really good for that. Now, the AA feels a little lower than most other snipers. You don't really hit headshots that often. If you're moving, if you don't move, you can hit them actually quite easily. So the sniper rifle feels really nice and the swapping capabilities of it are really, really nice. It just feels kind of clunky is the best way to put it. It still feels nice when you swap it. It's just when you're trying to shoot a shot after you're flinched, it doesn't really work out that well. The highlighting feature of it is really, really nice. If you're kind of in the lane sniper, kind of in the back, trying to play a position, it helps out in that factor a ton, a ton. And obviously you can continuously go and continue fighting because of the slide shot. So now the way to activate slide shot perfectly is as soon as you pick up the ammo, you sprint for one second, then you slide and will reload one bullet from the magazine into your clip. Now that's the best part about slide shot as well as boosting your range which we all know more range on snipers equals a little more AA. Now this sniper rifle feels like a high zoom sniper rifle. It might be a little less, but I think it is a high zoom. Don't quote me on that. So it has a lot more zoom than let's say a Dord or Future. It's kind of more in the zooming range in terms of the zooming on the sniper rifle itself. But if I had to score this sniper rifle in the way I play in kind of a quick laney sniper, it doesn't really stack on par with Adored, Beloved, the Far Future, the Azumi. It just doesn't feel like it has enough AA for it to really work well. But it is very snappy, so that means you can look around and hit multiple targets pretty quickly. But if you get flinched, you're going to kind of fall short. I use double dexterity, I use unflinching, and I use sniper rifle targeting. Everything to make the sniper rifle work in the best way possible and it still just didn't stack up to the way it felt in Trials of the Nine, but that does not mean it's not a good sniper rifle. It is a good sniper rifle and is worth chasing to get the exact roll I have, because I believe Slide Shot Quick Draw is the best roll you can get on the long walk by far, and it feels nice. Now, if you see in my gameplay, I do move around a lot. I slide a lot, which we all know sliding adds that extra flinch and causes me to miss a lot of shots. Now, if you cannot run around and slide as much as me, I promise you this sniper rifle will actually work really well for you because it's more of a light laning and holding your position sniper. I almost said lining. So if you're able to hold your lane a lot better and kind of not move a ton around the map or force yourself into slide sniping situations, this sniper rifle actually might be perfect for you. It might be the best sniper rifle you've ever had. So just go get it. Once you get it in your hands, you'll understand what I'm saying about the clunkiness, but you'll feel the snappiness, how quick on handling it is, and how it feels when you're having to use it in close engagements or even far engagements, forcing you to air quote hot swap with this sniper rifle. And I think this sniper rifle is perfect 
if you enjoy hot swapping with a sniper rifle and hand cannon.